Hello there, my Aquarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Aquarius. Energy with you. I get this energy of like staff. So those of you, whether you're rich enough to have staff or in business, right? You're a business owner or you're a member of management. So you have a lot of people you're dealing with. A lot of your energy is a lot of secondary, so do be mindful of that. It's also the energy of, uh, it's like following trends, but you're not the one that follows the trends. So it's like you pay attention to what you need to, but then you're, you're kind of doing your own thing or you need to do your own thing. So you can follow the trends, but not like physically follow the trends. So... I, it's more like trendsetter vibes with you. Some of you, I don't feel like you need brick or mortar. Some of you, it's like satellite vibes with you. So kiosk or keeping it nice and simple. Not too big, not too fast. Some of you definitely be mindful of what you need to pay attention to as well. So if you've got a lot of sort of scattered things going on with you, uh, work, love, life, what do you need to pay attention to? Because complacency with you is, uh, for some of you, what kind of allows that sort of, uh, I want to say a negative energy, but the opportunist paying attention to it. Four of Pentacles, yeah. So some of you have a lot going on, but damn, be mindful. This is like success, accomplishment, and then this is like uh, other opportunities coming in, but you're going to pay attention to what you need to pay attention to in order to bring in better options and opportunities with you. I don't feel a lot of love. So you're either happily in a relationship or partnership or that isn't like your main sort of a, uh, thing that you should be paying attention to. If you're dating, you're dating. If you're not, you're not. Uh, whatever your sort of business acumen is, kind of if you apply that to your interpersonal relationships or partnerships, I think you'll be just fine. Ah, see, so much of that sort of conflict energy around you. But it's it's so secondary with you, Aquarius. I definitely felt like a accomplishment energy with you, but there's still yet to come. But you got a lot of opposition. A lot of you, a lot of things aren't going to work. So your choice in uh, the opportunities is uh, is going to be interesting with you. Don't overcomplicate something either. So if you follow the trends, you pay attention to things, but you're not necessarily one that follows the trends like physically. Uh, that's what makes the difference with you. I almost felt like someone kind of expects you to kind of do what the uh, do what everybody else is doing. Uh, this ain't business wise with you. Some of you do watch your favorite astrologer, depending upon how much you pay attention to that. Uh, astrologically, this could be kind of telling you to just pay attention, and you'll know what to do when you need to do it. It's a it's a very it's going to be very interesting for a lot of you because it isn't about I don't want to say it's not about the substance, but it's not, you don't need like the full sort of package. Some of you, it's, it's far more interesting to keep it nice and simple and then see what's going to work and what's not going to work. Those of you, this is like, if you're like in management, uh, paying attention to that. Especially if this is a new opportunity with you. Those of you wanting to get into management, those of you, if you're looking for work or you're kind of looking to expand your options and opportunities as well, being very mindful of that five of wands. I feel like you understand something and others haven't quite figured it out. So I, you're definitely getting some cross watcher energy. But at the same time, this is that sort of shuffling energy around you so you could walk into the room and everyone sort of shuts up this is like a, uh there's something you're not supposed to see but i think who you're dealing with don't really see what the hell you're seeing so this is definitely good boss ass energy emperor empress vibes those of you if you're newly single this is definitely a good energy for you so whether this is a new job opportunity with you or you're out of a relationship or partnership and you're out there dating again. 
You're definitely on point. Yeah, what did I say? You got a lot of cross watcher energy, but at the same time, I don't feel like uh, your cross watchers are even remotely close to uh, the same sort of uh, uh, intellectualness that you bring. Whether this is smarts with you or this is just really intuitive with you. Especially if you follow the trends. So you know what's trendy. But you kind of always do your own thing. So you could come across as maybe seeming a little uh, outdated. Uh, you don't jump on every sort of opportunity. There's a, it's almost like a classicness with you. But damn, you're really good at figuring out what you need to do. Especially when it comes to business. There's the Knight of Swords. There's the Eight of Wands. Some of you definitely have someone trying to pull interference. So whatever your dreams and goals and accomplishments are, keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> because, damn, you're going to have a lot of people trying to uh, play interference here with you. Because your cross-watchers don't even know what the fuck is up when it comes to you. And there's that Eight of Swords. That's more that secondary vibe with you. Look at all this Swords energy. Ace of Swords. There's the Judgment vibe. There's the Page of Cups. There's the Seven of Swords. Yeah, um, this shouldn't be overwhelming with you, uh, Aquarius. So those of you, especially when it comes to like new opportunities or you're looking at things new, whether this is a work relationship with you or a romantic or soon to be romantic relationship or partnership with you or an interpersonal relationship or partnership with you, just be mindful of who you're sort of uh, sharing your dreams and goals and ideas with. You're good, but some of you, this, like, elevates you to the next level. So those of you wanting that promotion, if you're doing anything where you're dealing with, like, a group dynamic, definitely a lot of group energy with you. So if you have a staff or you're working within a group dynamic, uh, keep those ideas and uh, what your sort of thoughts are to yourself right now. Some of you, maybe now's the time to date. Maybe now's not the time to date. I don't feel like there's a, that your romantic life is really like your main focus. Or some of you, what, what should you be paying attention to? A lot of opposition energy. Uh, but you only pull that vibes when uh, uh, people know you're like, uh, you got some good sort of energy coming your way. Definitely got a lot of cross-watcher energy. But I feel like your cross-watcher energy is blocked. Because uh, I, there's something about you. So whether you're trusting your intuition here, you're just... Uh, uh, it's more than just smart. It's more than just like being smart. Because you can be smart and kind of follow everything and be like more of a follower instead of a trendsetter. So there's, there's an interesting sort of difference there with you, Aquarius. So... Especially when you're kind of doing your own thing or some of you are about to create like your own opportunity that is going to be, uh, it's going to be very interesting. This is good teacher energy. This is good coaching energy. Uh, this is a good creative uh, opportunity as well for you, uh, Aquarius. But damn. Especially when it comes to a group dynamic. So, over the Eight of Wands here, you got the Seven of Pentacles, there's the Six of Swords, there's the Nine of Wands, and there's the Five of Cups, yeah. Some of you, you're not under that same sort of emotional vibe here. So those of you, if you're into something new, you got out of a, whatever sort of relationship or partnership this is with you. You don't have that sort of sentimentality, and someone knows this, so... If it's a relationship or partnership, you pulled focus back on you. Uh, work, love, or life on this. Those of you, if you had your work life and your sort of romantic life intertwined together, yeah, I felt like you were the one that kind of gave the good advice. Oh, wow. I love this for you, Aquarius. It's, a, it's different. Take what's yours and leave what's not. 
pay attention to what you need to pay attention to. This is like better blessings, better opportunities. This is like your stock goes up and splits or some of you, you get like a, a job opportunity and then soon comes an advancement because you're, you're definitely, you're different. But don't, it's almost like Virgo energy with you, but it doesn't have to be or seem that dramatic. You just uh, keep focused on what's important to you. Definitely be mindful of who wants to be in your energy as well. Definitely a group dynamic on this. So there's the magician energy. There's the four of cups. Yeah, someone needs you or wants you to feel something. So be mindful of the sort of compelling type of uh, conversations that you could be having or someone wants to have with you. Someone could be uh, testing the waters to see how you feel emotionally or what your sort of vibe is. So those of you, if you're dating, you're dating. If you're not, you're not dating. Who's interested in that? The Tower of the Three of Pentacles. There is the Page of Pentacles. There's the Seven of Wands. Watch your astrology. Because some of you, I feel like that brings this sort of balance. If it's not astrology with you, it's just paying attention to what you need to pay attention to. And don't get overwhelmed or don't feel overwhelmed with something. So some of you, it's you're not in like the same sort of vibe as everybody else. But you never are. So whatever you're paying attention to, some of it might not be your vibe. Or it might not be what you need right now. And that's uh, rather interesting with you. So I'm going to be mindful of those who want to come in and like, they don't want to put forth a lot of time, energy, or attention, or effort when it comes to you. They just sort of want that opportunity. So someone's uh, wanting you to take a risk or someone's expecting you to sort of... Uh, 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 don't sell yourself short here either. So some of you could be getting some opposition. People not necessarily talking so great about you, but they don't understand what the fuck you're even doing. So they're like here and you're like already up there. Uh, some of you from the from the beginning of whatever these relationships or partnerships are. So definitely understanding your value and your worth. Page of Pentacles there, that could be Mercury vibes with you, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn. Mindful investing, work, love, life, mindful investing with you. Some of you definitely could have someone that don't like the fact that you're getting like a better option or a better opportunity. So those of you, if you're dealing with like an ex energy, ex, ex boss, ex relationship or partnership, someone sort of thought that they would get the same kind of attention that you get. But the attention you get is far different than maybe for some of you what that sort of relationship or partnership is. So just because you get like the perfect job opportunity doesn't mean that the uh, the same sort of uh, appreciation. I think you're appreciated. Uh, not everyone likes the fact that you're appreciated, but do be mindful here. There's the Capricorn and there's that Empress energy. Mindful of who you confide in. Mindful of the conversations with you. Speak less, listen more, pay attention. Because uh, whatever the hell this vibe is. Uh, Aquarius, some of you, I feel like you get an opportunity that maybe someone promised somebody else. But uh, there's like no fucking comparison here. So, damn. Damn. If you pay attention to astrology or whatever you pay attention to, you like follow the trends, whatever the hell that is for you. It brings about like better sort of vibes. So that way you don't kind of get stuck. Uh, 
Um, everyone else is doing one thing and you're already like on to the next. Or you're like creating this brand new sort of vibe or opportunity with you. The satellite vibes with you. I love that when it comes to you. So some of you, you don't need like the brick or mortar. So it's uh, some of you could be in more like sort of short term. Uh, when it comes to your investments or how you kind of approach a new opportunity. So that way it's not like all in. Uh, very mindful here. You're probably getting a lot of proposals or a lot of people coming uh, at you wanting to sort of be in your energy or wanting you to sort of invest in them. So... Be mindful of emotional purchases or emotionally based decisions, especially when it comes to your finances. So that way you don't get taken advantage of either. If you're happy kind of going it alone and uh, staying focused on yourself here, that street smart and wise, healthy boundaries and uh, paying attention to what you need to instead of needing all that secondary, you're going to be just fine. The secondary is necessary. Some of you, it's just that's just the way it is. You can't do everything on your own, but definitely be mindful of who wants to come in and kind of take advantage of an, uh, an opportunity that you have. Those of you, you could be dealing with an ex energy or your ex's ex or whatever the fuck. However sort of messy and complicated this energy is. Someone thought they would just be able to kind of do what you do. But it, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, I'm Aquarius. Do watch your favorite astrologer, if that or whatever the fuck you pay attention to. The Two of Swords, the Queen of Wands, there with the Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. You're good on your own. So Aquarius, some of you, this is like uh, achieving those dreams, goals, and accomplishments on your own without the sort of secondary codependency. So, I feel like you're smart, whatever the fuck you do, but you don't need all that sort of secondary. That's what makes the difference. So, this isn't about who, where you work, what you do, who you're with. Uh, you kind of create that vibe. Someone could have got your ex and realized that you were the one that was the accomplished one in that relationship or partnership. So, someone feels like they've been duped, or someone doesn't realize exactly just how much you brought to that energy. Uh, some of y'all, this is uh, who made the money. So, when it comes to, like, those opportunities, stay far more focused on you. Definitely be mindful of the overly passionate connections. There with that Seven of Cups. So... Someone wants to come in, they might come in a little passionate, but it's a seven of cups. It's just uh, what their expectations are. They want you to play the fool. So don't let anyone sort of tug on those fucking heartstrings. And definitely be mindful of who the fuck you're investing in. Especially when it comes to no emotional type sort of uh, decision making. Especially when it comes to your finances. Bringing in new, allowing new, but someone don't like it. There's a competitive energy to this, so definitely life's competitive. So take what's yours and leave what's not. Some of you, this is energies you're not even fucking aware of. So those of you, if you're interviewing, those of you that's, uh, uh, you could be the interviewer, you could be the interviewee. Uh, just keep those ideas and shit to yourself. You're like the lucky charm energy here. Some of you, the, the by association thing doesn't really mean shit. So if you get like a new opportunity, someone could uh, maybe try to work with someone that you worked with before thinking that they were the one. 
uh, who sort of brought this accomplishment energy with you, but they weren't. It was you the whole time. Definitely be mindful of that sort of interpersonal vibe. So who's trying to play matchmaker with you? Uh, work, love, life. Some of you be mindful of uh, the, the passionate connections there. Someone could come in and you might think it's like a great opportunity, but they're they're playing in Seven of Cups energy. So from the get-go, they have ulterior motives. And some of it is to get you to sort of fool around and fall in love. So whatever this is, this shouldn't overwhelm you and just keep that shit to yourself. Focus on what's important to you. Whatever the sort of uh, you're paying attention to. You're more trendsetter, but you follow the trends. But not like literally. So, you know, just because someone says you should buy this or you should do that doesn't mean that you are. But you definitely do pay attention to the trends. It's good business vibes. But some of you, mindful of that investing, who or what you're investing in. Definitely no emotional purchases right now. Keep those ideas to yourself, too. Good luck. God bless Aquarius. Take what's yours, leave what's not. I don't feel like your energy is messy, but some of you are dealing with some sort of messy energies. So, if you're overwhelmed in this, then what do you need to focus on? This should be so secondary with you that it doesn't create a sort of hiccup in energy with you. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, and leave what's not Aquarius. I like this. Speak less, listen more. No emotional purchases. Take your time. Smaller sort of investments. So I don't feel like you need brick or mortar. You need like more like satellite vibes so you can sort of figure out what the best opportunity is. This is good business smarts. Uh, business smarts, good work opportunities. Those of you that, uh, especially if you work with a team, if you're like a leader, so you're someone that makes decisions. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Everything is looking good for you. Two of Wands, Earth, the Two of Pentacles. So, a lot of conflict. It always comes down to that secondary fucking conflict energy with you. So, some of you definitely have some messy sort of energies that you don't need to be dealing with. Just stay focused on you. You're going to be just fine. Good luck, God bless, like, share, subscribe, Aquarius.